welcome to today's video. It's easy spin day today. I haven't had an easy spin in a long time. That's probably why I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I haven't quite recovered from my illness, but a day of drinking coffees should sort it out. How are you doing, man? Yeah, good, man. I rode way too hard over here. I got a bit excited. I haven't been on the bike for a few days. I was like, yeah, I'll just take it nice and easy before you know it. Red line, the E5 colors. <laughs> well, shit. I'm on the right bike for this. The reason I want to take it easy today is I found out that when I go to Israel next week, I'm doing four days of riding, three days of 150 k's, and then 200 k's through the heat of the desert. I mean, it's going to be wicked, but I don't really have to ride hard until then. That's going to be some serious mileage. You're right, Pantani. I'll take it because uh, it's apart from the drugs, he was a legendary cyclist. So. 30 kilograms heavier than him, and I'm still under 70 kilograms. <laughs> oh man. This coffee since the 2nd of He's going to be going March. nuts. Oh no, I've, I've been doing shit loads of caffeine, just not in the form of coffee. He wakes up and just takes Pro but Plus. If you, and... a, but if you have like a green tea, it's got more co caffeine in it than coffee. Emily actually sent me an article today, uh, which was sent like, teacher drinks six uh, energy drinks a day and tongue that's what, someone's teeth also all fell off. It's nice, isn't it? It is. Good ride. <laughs> yeah, did a bit of off-roading without, well, I haven't got an off-roading bike, but did it anyway. Wild one. It's one of my names. I heard you were a big deal in Cardiff. Wild, wild Jimmy is what they used to call me. Wild Willy. <laughs> Chosen another drink, which is the same color as me today. Oh my God, that is great. Oh my God. It's like, it's like, um... Sponsored by Press Nutrition. <laughs> it's like, um... <laughs> really fruity lollipop without it being ice. That is so good. Jamie's going to do a vlog. Now you go play it yourself. Go play it yourself. I need to ask him, uh, when is the new Atticus kit going to be available for everybody? April the 1st. April <laughs> haven't actually made any. We had a lot of conversations where I was just like, I want it to be the April 1st. And Amy was like, you can't do anything on the April 1st. I'm like, can we can do it? Uh, and the rare occasion I actually won. I think it'll already be live to the mailing list by the point that anyone sees this. Um, so it'll currently be password protected. But if you sign up to the mailing list, you can get the password. And then the general release is on 9 p.m. GMT on Monday. You could own this. I do. You as in viewers. Oh, yes, you could. You yeah. could. Good. Yeah. I like your green jumper. Thanks. Thanks for being your green <laughs> That is all. <laughs> all the conversations we've had, this is the one you end up recording. Yeah, the, I didn't film the crazy man. You also didn't get the, you know the guy who nearly had a fight in there. Also didn't get the moment where he said if you ever dreamt about being beaten to death with coins, bags of money. Bags of money yeah. Crazy man talked to you. Yeah. He said that I kicked him. Did, Did you, you kick him? him? No. <laughs> yeah. He <That's what> <laughs> just kicked me. You just kicked me. And I was yeah. like, I didn't kick we you. We all saw it, Daisy. I'm going to go and rewind the uh, CCTV now. <laughs> We've got a cycle down that road now. <laughs> right, so we're having a bit of an argument here about. <laughs> What would you call this? I just feel like that's this. What would you call this? Photos of this. A chinman's. Chinman's. Yeah, but it needs the lips as well, though, doesn't it? That's the big lady face. Oh, so I put it in the comments. Go, put it in the comments. What would you call that? Big lady chin selfie. What would you call that? Big lady chin selfie. Under fluff. No. I I think I want it to go viral. I don't. I don't. I want to not just take it away from you. I want to make it the brand. biggest thing since Big the ice bucket selfie. challenge. The new ice bucket challenge. Big lady challenge. chin selfie. It's the next ice bucket challenge. Yeah. Who what are we raising money for? Big lady man. People who need chin. The pace centre. I don't think we're going to raise any money, though, are we? <laughs> oh, he's still there. Oh. He's gone. <laughs> Right, quick cruise home. Daisy and Jimmy are riding onto James's shop where we're going to fiddle around with our bike. I'm getting reunited with my Red Villier. I've been on the gravel bike for a few days. Annoyingly, that means I've got to go there on foot, so I've got to get the train. So quick turnaround at home in a minute. I'm jealous of these guys, they get to ride. And it's a lovely day. It smells weird in there. Do you not hear the um, buzzing in the background? He's probably cutting something off of a bike. No one noticed that. New seat post? Why does she need a new seat post? Uh, new seat post because uh, we need an inline seat post for Daisy. How are you, man? Haven't seen you since Spain. I know, I've been Don't. recovering. I'm going out partying. I actually have, I did actually go out partying. I know, <laughs> I know you went out partying because you sent me a picture. How do I get more air? That's it, now pedal. <laughs> Don't you big. 
It's not a very aero jumper, is it? How can we get more aero and be naked? Because Daisy's just got such long legs and the rest of her incredible height is made up by a comparatively short torso. Like, we've got a real struggle to get the reach down short enough, but to bring the front end up high enough, and to, because the saddle height, this is the common quandary with a lot of women, but there's also a lot of guys as well built like this, who've got short torsos and long legs. You need to get the saddle height right, but then it's just about where that front end ends up, where the handlebars end up accordingly. Um, in this case, you know, even though the Look 765, we've come to find recently actually has got the shortest reach and tallest stack of any bike i.e the handlebars are as high and as close to you of any bike on, on the market it's still a little bit out yeah i mean it's it, we, we 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 already knew this but it's just um yeah it's interesting uh what was i about to do before you um rudely interrupted me have a bit uh you know what it did just cross my mind <laughs> james has a list of things he has to do a beer is always at the top <laughs> i can i can drink on the job the beauty of running your own shop. We're not real customers. No, you're not. And the next one is Louise, so I can be pissed when I do her thing. This is kind of where you want to be, right? Yeah. I do find myself like propping my hands here. Yeah. A lot of people do that though. It's when you get tired, you just want to sit up a little bit higher. We went for this bike because it's the closest we can get to fit date we came to on the jig. Because this is the way that I fit. We don't, I'm not interested in bikes, I'm interested in people. We fit people and understanding a rider's limitations on a jig puts you in the best possible stead to choose a bike that is going to be the most effective. So what we could do with this, and I think we've spoken about it before, is we could invert the stem and see what that yields. You're still alone starting out, and I think at the moment we just need to get you comfortable, we need to get you riding a bike. I can do that for you if you like, give it a go, or you can stick, it, stick with it as it is. Um, do it. Do it. What's this? My gift to you. Well, actually, it's not a gift from me at all. At all, it's a gift from um, who are they again? Tom Hand. Tom Hand. What's his name? <laughs> Tom Foot. At this end, thirteen three. It's sick. This is because you're fed up of me moaning, dude. You don't have to look at your fucking face. You sit there the whole, like that. That 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 ride. So it was a ride, ride in Valencia. It was two degrees. Our guide often said, "said Do you want do you want some gloves?" And Frost just went, "No, I'll be happy just making the fucking face." Sat there making the face, and I said, "You know he's got a spare set of gloves, dude." Oh, I have some gloves. Free laptop. It's a laptop. And some gloves. So this These are is the actually, fanciest gloves I've ever seen. This is actually a really cool product. So these are four sets of gloves. It's a glove layering system. And it's basically, it's, it's, so it's 95 pounds, available from my wonderful shop, but it's also available online. And you get um, a liner, a wool glove. It's not a real wool glove though, it's vegan friendly. And then you get a thermally insulated uh, glove and a waterproof glove. You can use them all in conjunction with one another and you even get what is called, I didn't even know this existed, a glove hanger. It's also, oh, it really hurts. <laughs> I can see the stress in your face. Oh, you know, it's a little bit like that, um, you know, that game where you, where you put something in your you've mouth. Got, you've got that, haven't you? Oh, Aim oh, it stretches your mouth. Did you, is this what you thought your black fur was gonna be? <laughs> One beer!